Thanks a lot, Mark. If there's one thing I learned from Rory McIlroy this weekend, it's that you can lose your ball in a tree and still win a major championship. It doesn't work out for me when that happens to me. That was a little bit of the luck of the Irish on Saturday for McIlroy. However, the rest of it was pure skill and domination as McIlroy fired a 66 to dominate a world-class field. I got here Monday afternoon. I went up to my locker. My locker was right by the window overlooking the putting green and overlooking the, you know, like the, the beach and the ocean. I just was, I was thinking to myself, I just have a good feeling about this week. But yeah, I mean, I, I felt it from the start of the week that it, that it could be special. Dustin Johnson is still chasing his first major. Former Coastal Carolina All-American had a solid weekend shooting one under par on Sunday to finish at plus five. I mean, it was a lot of fun coming here and playing. You know, I had a lot of fans rooting me on, so that was a lot of fun. But, you know, and then playing in my home state, you know, it's great. But, you know, I just struggled. Tiger Woods 2012 will be defined mostly by struggles on weekends in the majors. Woods will have to wait till 2013 to chase major number 15. The, the thing is to keep putting myself there. I'm not going to win them all, and I haven't won them all. <laughs> uh, so I have certainly have lost a lot more than I've won. But uh, the key is putting myself there each and every time. Tiger Woods was the youngest player ever to win two majors, but that honor now belongs to Rory McIlroy, who beat Tiger by four months in that age bracket. It was a dominating performance on Sunday, one that will be talked about for many years to come. Rory McIlroy, the 2012 PGA champ. At the Ocean Course, I'm Rich Crampanis, News Channel 15 Sports.